Hello Internet. This will be a guide for uh, creating your own custom-made guitar picks using recycled plastic. Now I don't want to do a tutorial for this because it was pretty hard to do and I don't want nobody copying my uh, pattern for which I carved into the metal that you'll need for this project, but I'll provide a lot of information throughout this video and in the description of how they're made. Now, I use a piece of metal, anything would work, coffee can would work, and the following things you'll need is, you'll need a dremel with a stone bit to help make indents in your metal for your mold that you'll be placing in the oven at 200 degrees. Now this, you'll need these nail punches to help coax the metal and to wear it down a little bit so that you get the crevices if you want to do um, guitar picks with deep tails and a screwdriver to help as well. And some mineral oil you'll need that will help lubricate it whenever you start slowly start to melt the plastic add that a little bit at a time to keep the plastic from burning completely all the way through and to keep the color. Food coloring works well with adding color to your plastic so you could use Mountain Dew bottles or any clear plastic. I use two ty different types of molds for these. The mold process itself could take up to like six hours or so and I've made like s seven or eight different molds to even do this before it even uh, came out looking like a guitar pick. As you see these wooden guitar picks I've ha made before on this channel, I'm just showing you in comparison to those. And those ones were designed after um, an original guitar pick, you know, um, the standard size guitar picks. One with a uh, grumpy cat and one, one with uh, a spall in the grooves on the wood. And then this next one was, you know, the traditional standard I've shown you. And then the other that looks, ha has like the um, animal pattern on it, it is plastic, cut out piece of plastic, w doubled and glued together, and then it had uh, like a paper glued over it. it. Works pretty decent. They stay together for a long time. I just thought this would be a creative idea to reuse plastic and to get more use out of it than just to throw it out. Um, you want to make sure your oven though is at a low temperature of at least 200 degrees or lower and you want to constantly watch it and maybe vent, it, vent out your oven if uh, you start to see too many bubbles too quick. But you keep adding mineral oil maybe co some cooking spray to the pan would work as well to keep um, it from sticking from the mold and then I usually let it cool down for a little while and then I stick it in the freezer and then that's when I pull it out of its mold and it help the mineral oil helps keep the sh shininess and the see-through of the plastic.